What's going on, Fluff fam? About to go pick up the stuff right now. Got to the place. Yeah, all right. I'm, I didn't have to pack a shit in my house. I had to ship to like one of those drop boxes or whatever like that, a store. So, yeah. I, hey, they hear you, sis. They, they, yeah. for, they forget about baby Fluff. They forget about baby Fluff. They forget about you, sis. Huh? Tell them. Tell them. They ain't forget about you, huh? Say, no, we ain't forget about baby Fluff. We know we love sis back there. All right, we about to get this stuff. Y'all about to see it. Get to the house. And then I might open it up and let you guys check everything out that we got. Because we actually got a couple packages in the day anyways. So, all right. Let's get ready. She got it for free because they want me to review it. So, Let's see how this goes. Wow, look how small it is. It's nice. Wow, this is real tiny. I like this. Carrying case. Here is the stand that goes in the bottom of it. Charging cable. You know what? Before we review it. How about we just go shoot some stuff and let you guys catch it? Oh, there's the baby. So you say I need to get looser? Well, see, my phone keeps tapping right here. Yeah. Which kind of sucks, but it says it's made to fit my phone. And then on top of that, the auto tracking, you can't turn it off. Like it just wants to, it'll sit there. Like it'll, like you can do it a little bit, but somehow it'll turn my phone on like a bump it. One thing I like about this is that you can double tap this button right here and go into, see, something fortune mode and stuff. You take pictures or whatever and just double tap it. And flip back over. I think that's the only dope part. Like if you were like doing lives and stuff, that'd be the best part. Oh, and then the thing, the program itself only does um, 720, it won't do um, 4K in the recording program. So it forces you not to be able to use the recording program. You gotta switch over <coughs> and use a regular form. It might be. We got a whole wall that's closed. Mm -hmm. 
actually somebody sent me this for a product review, right? And it actually didn't work for what I needed to. It's, I mean, it's good for like a starter one, but for what I needed for, it, it, it didn't cut it. So you guys will see the video footage of this and why I didn't make the cut, but it's nice. It looks real nice and everything like that. It's real heavy. And um, I think it was gonna be more than what it was, but it really wasn't. Like, like I knew, it was, I thought it was gonna be great, but it, it was really not that good, right? So this goes like this. It's like any other gimbal. I don't know if you guys ever used one before. But this one right here. So look, you loosen this up, and it gets real tiny, right? So you do this, opens, tightens it up. This little pop right there. Turn it that way to loosen it up and turn this one to loosen this one up. So now it's easy. Mount your phone right here. My phone would hit this piece and it would get stuck. And when it did that, it would mess my stuff up. And it would uh it would start shaking real bad and it would recatch itself. But the autofocus on here, you cannot turn it off. So that autofocus is real, really bad actually. You know, there's no way to turn it off. Um, the app records in 720, it won't record in 4K. Um, and I record my videos in 4K and break them down to 1080p. But it won't let you do it, so that was a big turn off for me. But for a starter one and for the price of it, it was actually actually pretty good. You know, I won't, I can't lie and say it wasn't for the price. But, you know, to me, you know, would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't. So, that's just my honest opinion about this one. But you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't start off with this one. 